Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to take you for a little routine that you can do using your foam roller. So um, something that I see laying around quite a lot at uh, the likes of Sainsbury's and everything, um, everyone seems to have picked up all the best stuff, but they always leave a foam roller there. But these are really beneficial, especially if you know how to use them. So I'm gonna take you through the little routine that I do on my foam roller. This is probably gonna be really beneficial for all of you guys that are fighting or um, training in martial arts. Obviously there are loads of other things that you can do with it, but this is just what, um, this is what I do in terms of a warm up before my strength and conditioning and uh, before I can, uh, before I go out and do a run and stuff like that. So what we're gonna look at first is doing our quads. So I'm gonna go here. I've got the foam roller laying down. Mine's actually pretty tough, so it does make me cry a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right on the edge of the foam roller. Hopefully you can see. And all I'm gonna do is just run my leg, my quad, all along it. I'm not gonna go up to my hip flexor just yet. I'm just gonna get my quad. If there's a bit that's a little bit tender, I'm just gonna hold it on there for a little bit until that tension eases, and then I'm gonna come off of it this way. So I'm gonna spend about 30 seconds to a minute on each leg on that one. Once I've done my quad, then they're gonna move up to my hip flexor. So the hip flexor tends to be the one which, if that's a little bit tight, that plays havoc on your back. Um, it's the one that does, if you're sat at a desk all day, it is gonna get a bit tight. So again, I'm using the edge of it. Now, rather than use it going all the way up my quad here, I'm just gonna focus on this little bit here. So just that hip flexor here and you will feel that so straight away I can feel that that's horrible so again if I feel that a bit that's a little bit tight I'm just going to hold it on there and then I'm going to release so again about 30 seconds to a minute all right once I've done that I'm going to look at my glutes so um, again something if you're um, kickboxing the MMA you will find that your glutes tighten up a little bit mainly because we we just use them quite a lot for kicking and everything like that. So I'm gonna bend one leg up this way and uh, the way I've got this angled is so I can really get the entire glute. And again, I'm just gonna run along it this way. If I feel a little bit, that's a little bit tender, I'm just gonna hold it on there, that's horrible. And then I'm gonna move off. All right, all the way over your glute. You might even get a little bit up to the top of your IT band on this as well. To be honest, mine's actually so tough, it's actually quite hard to run along it, all right? So if you get one a little bit softer, it's probably gonna be a little bit better. I tend to shy away from this one a little bit just because it is that disgusting, okay? So uh, once we've done that, so we've looked at our quads, our hip flexors um, and our glutes. So now I'm gonna look at my back. I don't wanna spend too long on the lower back. There's other things that we can do for that. So I'm gonna look at, get in the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on the um, centre of my back here, all right, and then all I'm going to do is go arms out and lower myself down here and I'm going to hold that position. I'm going to hold that again, 30 seconds to a minute, depends how long I need. I'm then going to roll down a little bit more. Same again. This way, really lengthening out my body. And one more time, here, out this way. And if there's any other bits that I feel a little bit tight, maybe my neck, I'd go down this way and get my neck a little bit. Obviously, I can um, get my hamstrings, I can do my calves, wherever you like. Calves are at disgusting, so prepare yourself for that one. But in terms of everything that I've just looked at, that's generally what I do just for to get a little bit mobile, get a little bit of blood flow and also loosen any tension off those muscles that are really important, as I said, for kickboxing and MMA. Give it a go, guys. Nice one.